Hey guys, um, today I'll be doing a comparison between the Water Slaughter from Battle Force 5, the big one, and the Diecast one. Um, first of all, um, the most obvious difference here is that this one is like, this one is definitely more than 20 times bigger than this one. Definitely. Um, it is really big. Um, I can barely fit it in to this, like, white space here. So, and this one's small, but it still, it looks really cool, just like this one. Um, the detail of this looks like a slob painted it. I'm not offending anyone, but, um, that's the style of it, and I really like it. This one also works on it, too. Um, here, too. Um, not as much, but still, you get the points. Um, a part of the back here is that this part here, it is, you can see that it is shiny, and just so you know, it stays shiny, and it is definitely made of metal, I'm positive. And you will definitely be, too. Here, this thing is made of plastic, and obviously that, that can't be shiny. Um, spoilers here, they match. Um, one cool thing, one thing also is that this diecast car does, doesn't really have moving parts on it. You can connect these weapons to it. That's the weapon part of it. Like this rocket. Or, um, these, um, grab hooks. Here, um, it does something else. Really cool. Um, it does this. It opens up like a shark's jaws. I, there are teeth over here and over here. So it really looks like a shark here. That's actually the point of this whole thing. Um, car. Um, also about the wheels. Here it has five spokes. Here it has six, um, spokes in a different design. Classic. Also, not only can that happen, but, um, this shark is not actually, uh, is not actually a part of this car, like, here, there's no even, no action figure, but, here, first of all, this part can easily be taken off, and you can just slip off this guy, take off here, so that the bulge won't be here, slip off this guy, take off the bulge, it won't be here, um, put the tail here, and the feet, so and so. Um, probably want the hands there. So, and there. This looks like a guy, the, the shark who made it, who drives the car. Um, I think his name's, uh, Sever. And now this looks a lot like Sever. So, there's that. And you can easily put it there by simply putting the tail down and then making the feet parallel to that. Um, and the hands, too, um, over the feet. And this... Just goes here so I can see the bulge. And there you put the bulge next to the red thing here. Put it on. And like that. Oh, never mind. Um, bulge actually goes not next to it. Put it on. And there. You can't do that with this car. But still, um, this car is awesome in detail. This car is awesome with moving parts. And that's the cool thing. That's basically, um, it, with the, um, comparison with, um, both of these cars, so, till next time, goodbye.